Hello everyone, it's Zion Marcus W. Uh, as you guys know, I'm from Leicester and one of the places I like to visit is the National Space Centre. Well today is the 30th of June, the 20th anniversary of when it opened to the public. For the last 20 years I've uh, enjoyed visiting the Space Centre, they've uh, always got some fun games and activities to uh, play and uh, I love their simulator ride and the movies they put on. And I particularly love it when they have conventions and special events, and it's thanks to them that I've made so many friends. So I thought I'd make this a quick tribute video for the Space Center and share with you guys my top five favorite conventions that have been held at the Space Center in the past. Number five, Japanorama, 2013. This event was dedicated to Japanese culture, so they had sushi making, Japanese drumming, K-pop performances, and a cosplay competition, which was my favorite. Uh, I admit I'm not a cosplayer, but I do admire the work and dedication that the people put into their costumes. They're really amazing. This was the event where I met uh, Becky and Kelsey for the first time, and since then we've been good friends. They're very nice people and very talented too, so do check out their social sites. I'll put links in the description. Uh, there were plans for a second Japanorama event in 2014, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Number 4. Rise of the Robots 2008 If you're into robot combat sports like Robot Wars and BattleBots, this would have been the event for you. The robot combat tour group known as Robots Live put on a show at the Space Center and I got to see what lots of featherweight robots fighting each other. And there were some heavyweight battles too. Uh, they had robots like Tiberius, Merlin, Bear Moth, and uh, the current Robot Wars world champion Storm 2. Of all the sport activities in the world, robot combat has always been a personal favourite of mine. Uh, just seeing a robot battle live, it's even more exciting than watching it on the TV. It would be good if this event could return because robot combat events are very rare to find. Before conventions were outlawed, Robots Live used to do tours in uh, places where I could easily get to, but they don't anymore. They always go to places that I can't reach. So if anyone from Robots Live is watching this video, please, please, please do a tour in Leicester. Please. Number three. Science of the Time Lords. This event is dedicated to Doctor Who. The Space Center has had many Doctor Who events in the past, but Science of the Time Lords has always been the most popular one. The event usually involves photo booths, like with the TARDIS, some cosplay competitions, some stool displays that show you how to build a life-size Dalek or a Cyberman. There's also stools with artwork by Chris Thompson and Lee Sullivan and you can have photos and autographs with Doctor Who stars, both from the classic and new series, even some Big Finish audio stars. They also do panel interviews and sometimes an audience with Daleks. Also in one part of the Space Center they would have an experience section, so you would travel with Unit or the Doctor and uh, see what it's like to fight a Cyberman. Number 2. Brit Sci-Fi when you think of British science fiction, it's not just Doctor Who. There are other British sci-fi shows like uh, Blake 7, The Tomorrow People, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Red Dwarf, and all the Jerry Anderson shows. These events would have pretty much the same stuff as I've mentioned in Science of the Time Lords, but they would also have displays of costumes and models and props that were used on the shows. Plus I like this event because you have a good variety of shows which means you get to see different type of celebrities. So because we have a good selection I've met Jerry Anderson stars, Doctors and Companions, uh, the Red Dwarf crew, Boys from the Dwarf, and I've also met Brian Blessed. He's a really nice guy. A lot of people say that uh, I look like him. Gordon's alive! Number one. The Fab Worlds of Anderson. Of course, as a dedicated Jerry Anderson fan, hence the uh, Firestorm t-shirt, I have to pick this as number one. Sometimes there are special events that are dedicated to the work of Jerry Anderson, like uh, there's Andercon and sometimes the events held by the fan club Fanderson. 
but uh, with those events you sometimes have to pay like a hundred pounds for tickets whereas for Fab Worlds of Anderson because it's at the Space Center you only have to pay for the admission fee which is like less than 20 quid or something again you have the similar stuff I've mentioned in the last two events but with 2019 that was a very special Fab Worlds for two reasons firstly we got to see Jamie Anderson, Richard James and Christelle do a live performance of the Jerry Anderson podcast. And the event was dedicated to the memory of Shane Rimmer, who not only did the voice of Scott Tracy in Thunderbirds, but he made many other contributions to the Jerry Anderson world. A bit of a fun fact or a fab fact, Shane Rimmer was the very first celebrity I had a photograph with and it was at the Space Center for the 2012 Brit Sci-Fi event. So those are my top five favorite conventions that have been held at the National Space Center. Uh, the top three events I've listed, uh, a lot of my friends go to those and they love it when I uh, film and take photographs so they can share with friends, uh, particularly with those who are unable to attend. So if they can attend next year, well, it's through my videos and photographs, they all know what to expect. Now I believe during 2020 the National Space Centre have taken the opportunity to do a lot of redecorating like uh, for example they used to have a simulator ride where you pretend you're on a spacecraft heading for one of Jupiter's moons but they don't have that anymore so it'll be interesting to see what changes they've made and what's replaced the sim ride maybe they've got something else I do hope they've kept some of my favourite features like the space station corridor it's a great place where you want to uh, take some really cool photos or if you just want to uh, press buttons and flick switches. <laughs> and so, happy anniversary National Space Center. Thank you for 20 years of amazing fun in space. And I look forward to returning when we get the all clear. Thank you guys for watching this tribute video. Uh, you know the drill, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I'll next upload a video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Over and out.